Hey, it's Kip K for Make Magazine with another Maker Fair weekend project. Everybody's seen a potato gun, but have you ever seen a potato gatling gun? Let's find out about it. Okay, I'm here with most of the DeRose family. Where's mom at? She's on her way. Okay, and uh, they have built this Gatling gun potato cannon. So, Tony, tell me about where this idea came from. Uh, well, a couple of years ago, we got the book Backyard Ballistics, uh, and there's a potato cannon design in there that we built. Uh, we had so much fun with that, we were sitting around the dinner table around Christmas and thought, well, I wonder if we could build a Gatling gun version. And uh, we have kind of a tradition in the family to uh, create a design challenge each uh, holiday. And this is our design challenge this year. We had no idea how we were going to do it, but we thought it was kind of a cool thing to try. Cool. And uh, what did you do with the project? What was your involvement? Uh, well, I was mostly the media director. <laughs> okay. Kind of, you got to have that. Yeah, I pretty much filmed, uh, took photographs, and um, I did help some with uh, some ideas and uh, some of the building of the bridge. Okay. Sam, what about you? Uh, well, pretty much every weekend since Christmas we've been adding on to this and it's kind of just finally taken shape in the last uh, day or two, so it's finished just about in time. Well, you designed the basic frame on your own and, um, and then together we worked out the ignition system. All right, well, let's, uh, let's hear a little bit about this thing. So what we've got right here is we've got spark plugs in the back of uh, each end cap, each barrel. And we've got this uh, step-up transformer to 7,500 volts, right? And it's just converting regular, you know, 120 volt house power to 7,500 volts. And underneath here, you can kind of see, on each barrel, there are a couple contacts. And um, these two long contacts are connected to uh, the positive and negative ends of the spark plug. And the middle contact is, um, you know, a, a momentary switch, pretty much, for the house power. So as the um, barrels spin by, these contacts hanging down, the, uh, the long contacts engage and um, it connects the circuit from the high end of the transformer to the spark plugs. And then, once it spins a little bit farther, the uh, shorter contact, you know, connects and then that actually energizes the transformer. So the transformer is only on for a fraction of a second as the barrels spin by the very top position. And that creates a spark inside the end cap and that fires the hairspray. On the single barrel version, we just spray the hairspray in the back here, but we can't do that on this version because if we were unscrewing the end cap and then screwing it back on, it would be very hectic with all the wires. So what we've done here is um, we just put holes, drilled holes in there and put sliding doors. So we unslide it, spray it in, and then slide it back up. So we started the project over Christmas break this past year. Uh, the basic frame came together in just a couple of days uh, during Christmas break. Uh, the rest of the, um, the design has taken uh, most weekends uh, since uh, March. Most of the time we spent working out the ignition system, uh, the fuel loading, and the barrel spinning. Uh, but it's been a great project. We've, we've learned a lot. We've had to solve a lot of engineering problems. Uh, there was also even a little bit of math in how to lay out the barrels. Um, so that's how we built the uh, potato Gatling gun. Three, two, one.